Greetings friends! We are back, back in North Carolina. Sail and I got back just as the hurricane was beginning to come through in the winds. And let me tell you, as we were landing, it was like being in a paint shaker rolling on the waves. So it was not the funnest thing that we ever experienced. But we are home and we are glad to be back. We still have a number of videos that we want to release to you about our time at the National Heirloom Expo. However, we're going to release those a little bit later this week and some on into next week because we know a number of you are just wanting to know how we are doing, how we are managing dealing with the hurricane, Hurricane Florence. And it is, it is rainy and it has been very windy here. And I know as we're watching the news, there's some news that gives you a sense that it's over dramatic and it's overhyped. But at the same time as we're watching the news, you don't want to be an idiot. You want to make sure you're being prudent and making sure that you're preparing for things that are coming. As I was watching the news back in California, I was really getting really worried about Lacey being here because you get the sense that it was just going to be doomsday here. But then Lacey calling her and texting her, she was giving me assurance that things weren't quite as bad as they were seeming when I was watching them on the news. But, so I'm going to give you a real deal update of how things are going right now as we are experiencing the hurricane here. And as I said, it has been rainy and it has been raining a lot. And that is actually the major concern with the hurricane that we're dealing with here. It's mostly a concern of flooding. There are a lot of areas that are dealing with flooding. Big time fl uh, flooding, especially in areas such as Wilmington. And what was the other area that you talked about, Lacey? New Bern and areas closer to the coast but also near us in Charlotte. Charlotte is experiencing some flooding too. So that's the main concern and for those of you who are lifting up prayers please pray for those people. Our biggest concern right now is making sure the power doesn't go out. But Lacey has been doing a diligent job. She was holding down the farm excellent while we were gone taking care of the animals, taking care of the crops, delivering produce to some of our customers and our restaurants. She did a great job on that end, and she also did a good job in preparing, making sure that we had the things that we needed as the hurricane was coming, such as water, battery power tools, batteries, and a number of other things, just to make sure that we're able to take care of ourselves, as well as having food in the refrigerator, like right here, so that way can, we can have our needs met, just in case we lost power and had to deal with being stuck at home. So right now, thankfully, Hopefully that doesn't change by the time we release this video. We still have power. So that we are very, very thankful for. But as far as the animals and the farm, the ducks, well, they, they deal with the water very well. So there's no problem there. The chickens, chickens aren't very happy with a lot of rain. So I know they are not happy right now. And a lot of other things Lacey put up and tucked away so they won't be blowing around the farm. Re but regretfully, we did lose our greenhouse, the one that was we moved over out of the way to make place for our nursery. So the wind kind of got to it. So we're going to see later on if we can somehow salvage that. But we'll just have to see. Uh, see what we can do to make it work. But other than that, things are going well here. I know those of you who know that we live in a yurt here, wondering how we're doing surviving the hurricane in a yurt. We're doing well. And actually, the yurt, since it's rounded, since it's round, it handles wind very well. It's really aerodynamic, so there's not a lot of concern. We haven't had too much concern about the wind being an issue with being in the yurt. Yes, it can be quite noisy. You may even hear some of the rain right now pattern on the roof. But other than that, life's okay right now in the yurt. We're enjoying it, staying indoors and enjoying power while we have it. There's some other areas around us that have lost power. I've heard some of our, my friends who, have deal, who are dealing with not having power where they're at. But as I said earlier, we have power and we are very, very thankful for that. And as far as in the garden, I have no idea what crops we'll lose out there. We'll just have to see as the hurricane goes away and things begin to dry out. We'll see which crops we have and are able to harvest and which ones we just might as well count as lost. And thankfully earlier this year we went to doing the raised bed, the earthen raised beds with trenches. So that is really helping water from just sitting and completely washing away our plants. But we do 
have a number of plants that will be ready to be transplanted. They're actually ready to be transplanted now, so once the hurricane goes away, we'll be putting those in, so that way we can keep the market garden going. So thankfully, Lacey kept that going in our germination room, and those plants are looking pretty good. And that's pretty much it. If you have any questions, please let us know. Again, please keep others in your prayers. And I also want to mention those, keep those in the Philippines in your prayers, because they're dealing with a hurricane, a typhoon that is bigger than what we're dealing with with Florence. But there's still problems here with people dealing with Florence, and that's real, but keep them in your prayers. That's it for this episode. Check back with us tomorrow. We're going to be releasing a video, some more video footage and a new vlog. And we're going to be featuring our friends from Roots and Refuge. So make sure you stay tuned for that. And we'll see you next time. Thanks for watching. Feel free to leave a comment below, even if it's just to say, hey. Also, make sure you don't miss any of our new videos. So subscribe and sign up to receive notifications each time we release a new video. Also, you may want to check out these videos right here. And also check us out on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. See you next time.